Hi everyone, you're watching Dom Designs, and today you will learn how to draw a hamburger in Adobe Illustrator. If it's your first time on my channel and you're interested in weekly Adobe Illustrator drawings and tutorials, then please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that bell icon so you never miss an upload. Alright, so as you can see, I started off by drawing a burger on a piece of paper using a few image sources I found on Google. If you're not an experienced illustrator, that's alright. I have added a few burger images examples I found online which you can trace while following my tutorial in the description below. Just know that this is for practice purposes only, so be careful when claiming your drawing. Now that my sketch is completed, I have imported it onto Illustrator using the placement option which is Command Shift P on your keyboard. The canvas size we will be using is a 1920 by 1080 p Let's take the sketch and turn it into a template by double clicking on the icon on the layer panel. We will name the layer template and then check on the template option. This will dim down the whole layer by 50% and also lock it. Great, now that we have the template ready, Let's go down in the layer panel and create a new layer and name it Outline. All of our line work will be placed on this layer. Now before we start drawing, I'll head over to my color panel and pick a dark brown color from my Dom Designs color palette as our stroke. I'll then head to the stroke panel and give it a 7 points thickness with rounded caps and corners. Side note, if you're interested in purchasing my color palette, please check out the link in the description below. Now let's draw the outlines of the burger. I'll start by drawing the bun using the ellipse tool. I'll draw an oval to match the base of the bun. Then I'll select the top anchor point with the direct selection tool and move it upwards. I'll then just adjust the handles until it matches the top of the bun. Next I'll draw the crease on top of the bun with an oval. With the pen tool, I'll add anchor points on the stroke and then I'll delete certain anchor points to create gaps like so. Now let's move on to drawing the layers of the burger. A tip of mine would be to have as many closed shapes as possible. This will make adding color to the artwork a lot easier and it will avoid us from retracing the illustration on a different layer. Let me show you how to do this in real time. With the pen tool, I'll trace out the lettuce. You will notice I'll be overlapping all the lines. The reason why we do that is to make sure that all our lines are touching. Once we have all our lines completed, I'll connect the end of the lettuce stroke back to the start. Now to divide this, I'll select the shape of the bun and all of the lines I use to draw the lettuce and bring up the shape builder tool. As you can see, it gives me the option to click on the lettuce part. By clicking there, I'll be turning the lettuce part in its own individual shape. We can then delete the line that goes across the bun. As you can see, when I select the lettuce part, the shape is closed leaving a few extra strokes behind. So to finish this off, I'll clean up the extra lines. So following these same steps, I'll be drawing the remaining layers of the burger. For the tomato, I'll create two ovals and connect them with the pen tool. I'll then use the magic of the shape builder tool to create a short cylinder.
Now that we're done the main burger shapes, let's add some details. Let's not forget about the little flag on top of the burger. For some of the strokes, I like to make them taper in. So for that, I'll bring up the width tool which is Shift plus W on your keyboard. As you can see, by clicking and dragging you could taper in or out any part of the stroke. I love doing this to all my drawings as it makes everything look much more interesting. Let's also add some strokes that go along the shape of the bun. I'll select the bun and go to the object menu at the top and select Path Offset Path. This will bring up the Offset Path menu where you can play with the units until you get something like this. Then we can select different anchor points and delete them to create different strokes. By using the width tool, we can make the center of the strokes thick and taper off the ends to give it a cool effect. Perfect, we're now done the outlining process. Now's the time to add the base colors to the artwork. Firstly, let's create a new layer below the outline layer and name it color. By placing the color layer under the outline layer, it allows us to add color without affecting our outline. Here is when drawing our illustration with as many close shapes as possible comes into play. We can now select all the close shapes on our outline layer and go to the layer panel. By holding down Option on your keyboard, we will drag the little red square below to the color layer. This will copy everything we selected onto the layer. We can now select our shapes and remove the strokes and then lay down our base mid-tone colors. I'll select the top of the flag and go to the color panel. Then, I'll replace the stroke with a fill and give it a great color. As you can see, the color is separated from the stroke. I'll do this for the rest of the burger. Awesome, now that we have the base colors I laid out, let's add some highlights and shadows. Let's begin with adding highlights. Our light source will be coming in from the left side, so naturally the burger will have the highlights on the left and shadows towards the right. For example, I will select the red flag and do a copy and paste in place twice. This will allow us to have three layers of the same shape superimposed on each other. Now we can move down the top layer to create a gap at the top. We can select the top two layers and bring up the Shape Builder tool, which is Shift plus M on your keyboard. Holding down Option on your keyboard, you can delete the two bottom shapes, keeping the top one only. We can then give this top shape a white color and dim down the opacity to create the highlight. Let's do the bun in real time and time lapse the rest. Select the bun and do a copy and paste in place twice creating three layers. Then select the top layer and move it to the right. Follow that up by selecting the top two layers and delete the unwanted shapes using the shape builder tool. Then let's give the remaining shape a white color with a dim down opacity creating the highlight.
This is perfect. Let's finish it off by adding an extra highlight at the top using a stroke which we will thicken using the width tool. We can then turn it into a shape by going to the object menu, path, outline stroke. And finally use the eyedropper tool to copy the color of the highlight. Now creating the shadows follows the same concept except this time we will work with darker colors. So let's double click the color swatch and select a darker tone. Then with the pen tool I will draw a shape like this on the right side of the bun. Follow that up with selecting the bun and the darker shape and bring up the shape builder tool to delete the unwanted shapes around. I'll basically be using the same methods to add the remaining shadows of our illustration. Let's end things off by adding a few more details and I'll see you at the end of the video. And there you have it. This is how you draw a burger as a flat design in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson and I'd love to read your thoughts about it in the comments below. See you in the next video. Cheers everyone!